What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another day with that F30. We're doing the FTP charge pipe on the B48, B46, 330i F30 chassis. And honestly, I was just looking at the car, we were kind of talking about it. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be really easy. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and kind of show you what we're talking about. So, looking at the engine bay, this is in fact your charge pipe all the way down here and connects well you can't really see it but it connects down here and the way that this is connecting is there are thank you sir looks like these are three t20s is it three yeah so we got three t20s i'll confirm the size and then underneath there there's a c-clamp and to show you guys what a c-clamp looks like that is a c-clamp and you just pull that clip up and remove it so the install actually is super easy, like way easier on this engine than it is my N55. So literally we're just removing this, remove this sensor, remove this sensor, pull out the C-clamp, and then this charge pipe comes out, and then we go ahead and assemble this one. So the way that we'll do it is like that, or actually we'll wait, we'll pull out the old one and then we'll kind of mock this one up to the old one. This silicone bushing goes in between here and here, connects it, tighten these two down, Throw it back in the car, and we're good. I'm not sure what he's doing over there. <laughs> ah, okay, so weird size, it is a T27. So you've got three T27s, and then these two plugs right here, and then a C-clamp down there. Yank this out, and then we'll kind of form this with the silicone tubing in the middle and these two clamps. We'll form it to the stock charge pipe just to make sure that it's about the same shape and then we'll go ahead and put it in. But this, man, this charge pipe is way easier to install than mine on the N55 because I have the front mount intercooler and it's just, yeah, pain in the ass. So, it's gonna be super easy. Um, let's go ahead and take out these three T27s, unplug these, and we'll get it moving. So these have a little tab underneath, you're probably not gonna be able to see this little gray tab right here. The way that you unplug these is you pull the tab. There you go. There you go. So now is the fun part. There is a C clamp. All right, so there's a C-clamp at the end of this charge pipe, and that's what you're gonna undo. And then once you undo that, just go ahead and pull the whole charge pipe out. Kind of snake it out there. So this is what you're releasing. This is your C-clamp, and you see these slits right here. That's what it seats into, and it clamps in on the sides. So that's what's holding it in down there. So what we'll do now is kind of set this to the side and mock up the new one to the shape of this old one. So this sensor right here is held on by a T25. Remove that. We're obviously gonna reuse this so don't lose anything. There we go. So you'll notice that the new charge pipe comes with its own screw. You're gonna to wanna to use this screw and not the old one because the old one is plastic. This goes into plastic and this will not work in this charge pipe. So take this old screw, keep it on your old charge pipe. So the other thing that I wanna note is with the old charge pipes, the reason that you do this, you, you make this upgrade is because these charge pipes are plastic. So they're prone to cracking under even stock boost, but anytime you increase the boost or tune the car, which we are gonna do inevitably, we're gonna go boot mode stage one and then eventually stage two once we do downpipe, this will crack under increased boost. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to the FTP charge pipe 
and you also increase throttle response with an upgraded charge pipe. It's also a larger diameter. So that is why you do this upgrade. So for this sensor on the side here, you're literally just gonna twist it and make sure you don't lose the little bushing in there or the seal gasket. We're gonna need that. Installing it on the new one. Simple as that. Hand tightened is fine. That's how it was in the stock one. Uh, we'll take this guy. It's gonna go on like that. Make sure that the seal down here seats all the way. Our new bolt here. So this screw right here is just an Allen. Hand tighten it, you don't need to go too tight on that. And then it's honestly just a matter of taking our old charge pipe and lining this up with that. So we'll just take this silicone bushing and it'll go on this side around this little lip right here. Same with that side. Put the two clamps on and then go ahead and throw it in the car. Yeah, it looks right. Just go ahead and slide that on. I mean, we could just use an eight millimeter. Pretty sure those are eight mils. So yeah, I do have to say, this is so much easier to do than the M2. So the way that these clamps work, as you can see right now, it's engaged. And you've got that side in there, this side right here, and this top one over here. When you put it in the car, you're gonna wanna take this off beforehand. But I wouldn't take it off all the way because it's gonna be easier to install it if it's in position. So something like that is how I would install it. And then once you get it in position, pop it in like that. But when you guys are installing it, you wanna make sure that these seat all the way. Because a lot of times people put charge pipes in and they don't seat this all the way and then it blows off. And you can get like a boost leak, all sorts of bad things. So just make sure when you put this in that this seats all the way in. This should all be flush all the way around. Um, we'll go ahead and put this side in first and then we'll work on this side up top. So this is something I wanna point out. We just put the charge pipe on. We got the clamp secured down here. It's always a good idea to kind of keep this section loose around the silicone part because you're gonna to wanna to be able to maneuver. If we just threw it on like this, obviously it's not matching up perfectly. So we'll go ahead and loosen these up a little bit and then we can move this around to get it to fit on here. I'm gonna keep these loose and I'm gonna tighten these down and then I'm gonna tighten these. Cause you want flex down here and you wanna be able to flex these so this all matches up perfectly. I've installed, so now we can go ahead and tighten these down. Now that we have everything else where we want it. Look how sturdy that thing is, man. Look at that. Throw that engine cover back on, bro. Look at that. Dang, dude. Looks clean. He's got the MST intake. A little bit dirty right now, but yeah, man. That was an easy install. I'd say three out of 10. The toughest part is probably just getting that C-clamp off down there. So you guys can see the end of the charge pipe right there. And that's where the C-clamp is going into. And that C-clamp right there is what is holding it in. So that's gonna be your toughest part for sure. But once you get it clamped on, it's a breeze, man. This is like probably one of the easiest engines to do a uh, charge pipe on, because it's all right there in front of you. It's like so easy. On my car, obviously you need to take a lot of body pans off down there, and it runs into the intercooler up front, so it's just a whole different game. But this is, man, this is a cake walk. I'm gonna go for a little ride, make sure everything is sound. Might be a different tone to the engine a little bit. This is a larger diameter in the charge pipe. So, this car is 
coming together, man. We're doing the tune tomorrow on it. Excited. It's becoming a fun little build, man. It's nostalgic getting back into the F30 content. Yes, sir. Sounds good. All right, so we're gonna go for a cruise and see if we feel and or hear any difference. So you guys may not know this, but we are actually teaming up with Valvetronic on this build and we are doing a Valvetronic rear section and a Valvetronic downpipe, a catless downpipe on this car so we can go stage two. For the mid pipe, we haven't quite decided what we're gonna do with that. We might have the the resonator section and the secondary cat. I, I believe this has a secondary cat, doesn't Definitely, it? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have the secondary cat cut out. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how it sounds after we do the downpipe and the Valvetronic rear section. Because I think it's gonna sound really good just like that. Um, but we'll, we'll make that call a little bit later. It's always a good idea to just go for a drive afterwards too and make sure everything is nice and tight. Make sure you don't have any leaks. This is the number one thing that I hear when anyone is going to a tune in any F-Series BMW is that the charge pipe cracks. It breaks and it cracks because it's just cheap plastic. So you replace it with these nice ones, these upgraded aluminum ones, and um, you can just handle more boost. Then you don't have to worry about it. You can tune the car, do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about it on the road, so. This car's coming along. We're having a lot of fun building it. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in one of these, I'm gonna have a link. Dang, dude, she's got... I mean, she's got to talk verbals. Just wait till we put an exhaust on this thing. <laughs> a proper exhaust. So he has the M Performance exhaust. Some of you guys were wondering. He actually has the M Performance exhaust on this car. It's rather quiet. It sounds good, but it, it's very reserved. It's very uh, a very conservative exhaust system. So we're gonna kind of go we're gonna go balls out. We're gonna go Valtronic. Let it rip. So if you guys are interested in one of these charge pipes, I'm gonna have the link down in the description. A uh, huge thank you to Keys Motorsports for helping us both out so much with this build. Like Brian has really come through with so many awesome parts for this car and we're thankful. So Thanks, very, Brian. very, yeah, very, very fortunate to have those guys on board with the F30 build and just all of the content that we have on this channel. It's been, um, it's really been great to team up with those guys. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up this video right here. We're almost back to the house. Charge pipes are really one of those things, like we said before, it's just, it's preventative. Like it's that peace of mind knowing that you, you changed it. Now we can properly tune the car and never really have to worry about that pipe cracking. So definitely suggest doing it to you guys. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. And just like that, video's over and we're out. Yeah.